we are just going to start letting some people into the, the chat now because they're in the waiting room. And just so everyone knows. Hello and welcome to those of you that have just joined. Um, we're just going to wait a minute to let some people uh, trickle in. We have been receiving a couple of emails just with tech issues, uh, so we are trying to just help those people get into the session this evening. Um, thank you for coming. So for everyone that's just being admitted now, thank you so much for coming. Uh, we're just letting some others in and we'll get started shortly in just a couple minutes. Welcome to everyone that's just joining. We are just about to get started. We just see more people coming in. So welcome, get comfortable. Thank you so much for coming today. We're just going to wait two more minutes for everyone to join, um, but we are having a lot of people join right now, so thank you for your patience, and we'll be starting shortly in about a minute or so. Hi, everyone. Thank you for your patience as we've been just admitting everyone in. I think we've gotten everyone now and I think we'll go ahead and get started. So hello, everyone, and thank you so much for coming this evening for the second session of the Refugees Welcome Refuge Canada Speaker Series. It's so lovely to have you here this evening. So my name is Keely, and I'm a program coordinator from the City of Kingston's Heritage Services Department. And I'm joined here tonight by my colleague and fellow program coordinator, Alex. Uh, so Alex, you can give everyone a wave. And uh, Alex here is kind of your tech guru. So if you're having any kind of difficulty with anything, just shoot him a message and he'll be more than happy to help assist you this evening. So tonight we're broadcasting live from the Pump House, uh, which as you might be able to see behind me, it's getting dark so early these days, but we're situated on the beautiful waterfront of Lake Ontario. And as we take in these, these beautiful surroundings, we would just like to take a moment to acknowledge the land that we're on. The city of Kingston acknowledges that we're on the traditional homeland of the Anishinaabe and Haudenosaunee and Huron-Wendat. And we wanna thank these nations 
for their care and stewardship over this shared land. We're so grateful to be here today. So this session tonight is being recorded and it will be uploaded to YouTube. Uh, just the first session, later we'll be doing some arts facilitation and we will not record that. The speaker series you're attending today is designed to accompany the exhibition Refuge Canada, which is on display now at the Pump House until November 20th. And this exhibition comes from the Canadian Museum of Immigration and it's supported by the TD Bank Group. The exhibition itself focuses on kind of these two core themes. Um, the first exploring themes that many refugees experience. And second is really evaluating Canada's response um, and re response to refugees through history. And it really prompts visitors to ask the question, is Canada's response to refugees something I can be proud of? So we really encourage you to come down to the pump house and uh, learn a bit more about that programmatic piece there. The speaker series itself is designed to situate topics of the global refugee crisis in a Kingston context to raise awareness and celebrate the contributions of local authors, artists like Hussam, who we have here tonight, and community service providers. So my hope for all of you today is that you develop a greater awareness and knowledge of the global refugee crisis but that you also feel empowered and have the tools to take meaningful steps to support your local community. Before we start our session this evening, I would just like to say a few words on behalf of Michelle Wilson. She is the District Vice President from, uh, of Branch Banking, Banking from TD Bank. And here's what she wrote into us for this evening. At TD, we believe that art allows people to feel connected to their communities and exposes them to new perspectives. That's why we're working to make art more accessible so that everyone can enjoy its many benefits. Our partnership with Refuge Canada and Canadian Museum of Immigration, Pier 21, and of course the Pump House, allows us to further this work. We're so proud to collaborate with these organizations who are champions for new Canadians and whose exhibits and programs lead to the creation of knowledge that contributes to a stronger community and more diverse tomorrow. And now I'm just going to review some guidelines for our participation. So we are on a journey of learning tonight, but we do have a few guidelines that we'd like to share with you. First, please be respectful and polite and use inclusive languages in your communications. If a question comes across as culturally insensitive or inappropriate, we may just ask you to reword your question. Profanity will not be tolerated. Second, uh, you can use the chat box to ask questions and answers, and we'll do our best uh, to read these out and create time for these. Lastly, we would like to thank all of you um, for being here tonight. We want you to know that you are in a safe space. Um, it's possible that some content may be uh, sensitive to some audience members, so please use discretion and, and take care. We've chosen um, this format today. We have you kind of your video cameras turned off just to allow you to be in a safe and comfortable space. Later when we do the arts facilitation, we will invite you to turn your cameras on and you can use that your own discretion for that as well. Our agenda for tonight, first we're hearing from local artist Hussam, and that will be followed by a question and answer session. Then around you know, 7.45, we'll be taking a wellness break. And when we return from that break, we're going to be joined by an arts facilitator, uh, Virginia, for an engagement session. Uh, then later this Saturday, following the session, we'll be actually doing some public art in Douglas Fleur Park, but you'll hear more about that later. So now I'd love to introduce Hussam. So, so I'm going to introduce him. Uh, Hussam is a visual artist. He was born and grew up in Syria. He arrived in Canada as a refugee three years ago. And Hussam's work has been shown in Dubai, in Germany, the Netherlands, Belgium, Jordan, Syria, and of course, Canada. His portrait, Joyce, won both the People's Choice Award and the Student Choice Award at the 2019 Kingston Prize. So let's all give a warm welcome to Hussam Aloum. Uh, hello everyone, I'm, I'm so glad to be with you today. Uh, thanks, Katie. Uh, actually, uh, um, 
Uh, I will start uh, my story uh, as a refugee start when I uh, fled uh, Syria to Jordan uh, because uh, of danger uh, uh, to my life there in that in that uh, in that time. Uh, I would like to share with you my story and uh, like a, a refugee and like uh, a, an artist uh, as well, because uh, the artist part of me uh, was uh, the more uh, active in, in the last uh, 10 years, we can say. So uh, I, uh, I would like to start from the first of uh, uh, my journey. My journey started uh, when uh, uh, I fled uh, uh, Syria to Jordan to the, to the, uh, 2013. And uh, in that time, uh, as an artist, uh, uh, his home uh, sick, uh, I have uh, many, many dreams to uh, to be in to be that artist, he could uh, do something uh, through his art, uh, and uh, I I believe uh, in that scene the art uh, could change the world, but not in Syria, of course, because it's in Syria. <laughs> if you try to 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 say anything, uh, maybe you you be uh, high high bill, maybe you buy you pay your your life. Uh, if you try to do uh, something, it doesn't uh, uh, match with the, the government uh, uh, mentality. Uh, so, in, uh, uh, today I prepared some uh, photos actually uh, uh, to show you uh, uh, part of my journey through the photos because I am an artist. I like to use my art to to, to support my. Uh, <laughs> and good language. I <laughs> sometimes I feel I talk like kids, but uh, it's good because it makes some uh, the conversation more simple and uh, uh, clear sometimes. And please, if uh, there is anything you need to ask me or any idea to want me to uh, re-explain it, I will be more than happy. So uh, my, I, as uh, as I started uh, my journey, start from Jordan. Uh, I uh, I uh, went to Jordan at uh, 2013, as I mentioned, uh, to start my uh, my journey like an artist uh, to uh, to uh, to do that uh, uh, projects or uh, to 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 do uh, my my uh, belief in, in life because. Sometimes uh, we 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 think the life it's like movie, but uh, after uh, a while we 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 discover that the life's not movie; it's it's different, and we we believe in the uh, uh, the uh, shiny words, and we start to follow this dream. But uh, this could put you in many challenges in your life. Uh, as a refugee in in Jordan, I start. Uh, work uh, with uh, with kids i i uh, create a small workshop and uh, i start looking for a place to 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 start this uh, war workshop uh, because uh, in in the syrian in, in in because you are not any artist and uh, he wants to to do anything usually they start looking for support or fundraiser to fundraising to 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 do the the projects but in that days i don't have that patience to wait and have the processing for the to make my project so i start my project like volunteering uh, full time and uh, uh, i find my some friends i meet them in jordan to to support this idea so i make uh, like uh, 10 uh, like uh, 10 weeks uh, volunteering workshop with kids and uh, the goal of that uh, uh, workshop uh, to uh, to make uh, the kids have fun because as the refugee they don't have uh, they they look at, at them they just just need uh, food and missing nips and, and this stuff and they don't look uh, to them at human he has always has some energy and he need to to use the colors as an artist i find it will be nice to uh, to to give the kids this opportunity to play with colors and 
uh, have uh, some fun with girls. So uh, I would like to share with you now my uh, my screen to uh, to to uh, yeah okay share yeah so sorry <laughs> I have to go back yeah this is uh, the project it's uh, uh, as uh, as you see the name in Arabic it's called uh, left at another. Uh, left at another means in, in English uh, gesture of uh, view. Uh, and uh, we start the project with, uh, with kids uh, like painting on the wall. There's uh, their uh, uh, camping uh, places, uh, for example. This is on uh, camp in Jordan. I, I did with the, this, the kids uh, this uh, wall uh, uh, painting. Uh, it was a different experience for them. They enjoyed it, uh, they are, as, you, they, as you see in the photos. Actually, sometime, uh, I, uh, this is the first time I have this kind of speech. So uh, my wife encouraged me, she told me that every time there is the first time, let's have this, let's make it the first time for you today. So sorry for, <laughs> for my way to, so, uh, so this is uh, the, the workshop uh, with the kids, as I told you, this, it was very simple. I have uh, a place, uh, someone he over to me, uh, some of the friends, the Jordan, uh, Jordan friends, they over me their uh, cafe, art cafe, and uh, I uh, had this place uh, to make workshop with kids. Uh, this kids, uh, as you see uh, from camp, that some of them they have, uh, you know, the the bombs on the cities in Syria make some problems with kids. Some kids they have like a cut in their legs or something like that. Yeah, that's yeah. This is kind of the experience of the war. Yeah, this is uh, Farah. She she was amazing. She she blew my mind because she's. She she work in her uh, piece around three hours, standing on uh, one leg, as as you see. And this is actually one of the experience in my life. It's gave me different opinion about all the life, actually. Yeah, um, this is uh, some photos from the uh, work uh, workshops. Uh, I like to start from this uh, workshop because. Um, uh, when I, uh, uh, in 2019, I uh, had the opportunity to have the first show because uh, for this bro project, actually, because uh, through this project, I create around 16 uh, pieces of art. And I had the, the opportunity to show them in the Thousand Island History Museum in Gananagwe. So uh, after that, uh, uh, this is some photos from the, the show. Actually, I start to tell you my story from the beginning uh, and uh, uh, from the first, uh, yeah. This is some photos from, uh, from the show. Yeah. Uh, I like the, the feedback of the people in the, in the show and it was uh, actually, uh, one of the best uh, experience for me. Uh, after that in Turkey, I moved to Turkey. Uh, after Jordan, I, I stay in Jordan around eight months, I moved to Turkey uh, because through this project, we, uh, we, uh, and I, I inspired with a group of friends to, to have another uh, project to talk uh, uh, about the, the issue of the, uh, public or the community in, in Syria, uh, what happened in Syria, we try to explain uh, what happened in Syria. We create this project it's called uh, the Angel of Syria Art Project. This was uh, uh, one uh, piece of art. It, it's uh, a little bit big, as you can see. Uh, we create uh, uh, this piece, it's around uh, 4,800 square feet. And uh, 
we uh, we write all the name of the, the concept of this this painting actually was uh, talking about uh, the 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 war in Syria. Actually, the war in Syria. There is the the kids. They was the the most uh, part of the community. They they pay the most uh, uh, tough bill for the war. They have no related in this game, but they pay they pay most uh, the bill. Actually, um, we wrote in this painting uh, about. 12,400 name of the kids they died in the war in Syria. And uh, it was message. We, we wrote, save the children of the of Syria because uh, the war uh, makes all that for them uh, in 2014. This is the photo of the painting from Air Planet. You can see it uh, here. Yeah, uh, combining in the cards, it's it's huge. It's it was like uh, different experience for me, like an artist for all at all levels, actually, especially the human humanity level, you know, because uh, many stories, many things. Uh, maybe we need years to understand what happened in Syria. So uh, after I spent around four years in Turkey. I actually, I, I, uh, I went to Turkey uh, to, to create this project and uh, we had a uh, plan to show this uh, project. Uh, we, show, we had show in Belgium uh, for this project uh, and it was good. But still, uh, we need a lot to, like an artist, to, to, to face uh, a lot of, uh, uh, issues in this world, especially now. We after I landed in Canada, we we start feel how it is the art it, it, important to 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 show uh, many many issue in, in different way because we need it actually. Yeah, actually, I arrived to Canada in two thousand eighteen uh, September, in the middle of September. Uh, through uh, 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 Gananagway settlement, refugee group. Actually, uh, the life, it's journey. And sometime, uh, sometime we didn't choose this journey. Uh, we, we have uh, no control, especially when, when something happened in your country. So I'm, I'm, I'm one of the most uh, lucky to be here in Canada with you guys, actually. And uh, I'm so uh, grateful for uh, uh, that amazing group in Canada way that they, they, they work, worked hard to change our destiny, actually. And uh, like a refugee, when we landed uh, in, in Canada, uh, in, in the same, in the first, in the first day for us, we, we start feel how it's warm this country through the, the people around us. How it's amazing to, to connect with some people, they just saw you, but they offered to you any, any help you needed. And through this experience, like a, a human, I start think how I can use my art to, to explain, uh, to explain or to record this experience. So I created this concept, it's called reflection. Why reflection? Reflection, because all the time, our life, it's, it's not our own life because there is a lot, a, a big part from our life come through the people around us. And through the reflection come from, from these people, your, your, your life, it's built, built with time. You built your experience with people, 
because all the time people could affect your life through their opinion, through the, through the through their reaction, through their support. And like a refugee, really I start feel how it's important this reflection come to me from, from the people around me. Uh, in the first walk in Gananagwe, I uh, wanted to uh, visit uh, Hadar Haines Gallery because I know about it before I I arrived to Canada because they told me you are you were landed in Gananagwe and I start look at Gananagwe uh, uh, make research on internet and find it uh, through Google and you know this technology uh, ability, uh, give you ability to, to walk in any town you want and see all the stores blah 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 and I find there is this is amazing town the super magic uh, natural there is also gallery, I, I was so glad before I arrived to Canada. So uh, after maybe a few days, we just walk around to with the with Liz, uh, our friend, and she recommended to us to visit the gallery. I was so glad, and I I got my first show in the gallery. They offered me to show my art after they visited me in my uh, my home because I told them I bring with me around two two hundred piece of art. You know, you cannot imagine Hadar and Jeff, this is my family now, how they changed my life through their help. Because for them, uh, I am an artist and a refugee. Uh, I have no, uh, not that uh, good language as, <laughs> as now, I think, <laughs> because I still have, I don't uh, uh, have uh, enough uh, to explain what I need. Uh, they, they over me to have my first show. And, um, and uh, after three, uh, three months, I have my first show uh, in, in Gananaque. This is, this is painting, uh, it's uh, called the uh, Barkway. This is from uh, the first uh, day uh, we, we landed, it, it's, it was the, sunrise in in in, in Ghana way it's it's kind of magic actually for me because like an artist I can uh, uh, realize the the different light here in Canada Canada have it's had different uh, uh, the sun it's had different uh, uh, angle actually and the the kind of the, the light quality we can see it's really it's different here in Canada. So my eyes saw this color in, in this way. Uh, it's uh, inspired me to, to make uh, this uh, piece of art. And uh, I, I love it a lot actually. And uh, this is, uh, I, I, I feel it's um, something, part of my beginning here. And uh, uh, the, the amazing story happened behind, uh, behind the, the first show. Uh, this is Peter. Uh, this is uh, in the gallery. After a few months, uh, uh, we have we 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 have just a uh, company here, and uh, I I start to make sketch uh, for him. Uh, Peter, he's uh, uh, one of the amazing friends. They 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 support me a lot actually, and Peter uh, he he helped me to to create all the frames for my painting to have my show done. And he, he over me all the tools and he over me his garage and we start work together in uh, in middle of uh, uh, November. And uh, you, you know how is November again, it was like minus 15. I remember I, I have all the clothes <laughs> on my shoulder just to, <laughs> to, to keep my body warm and it was, one of the amazing uh, moments with him. And it was many fun, a lot of fun because I just try to, to connect with him. I, I have not uh, no English and you know, we, we, we have real work together. We create a lot of frames and we want to buy the wood to start cutting four or five days full time work every day together. It's was amazing. He was super happy and I was so grateful and it was like magic, you know. I feel it. this is this is the heaven for me. All the people around you just they 
they they they like to support you in any way they could. Yeah. So uh, I I told I mentioned I start my my collection that it's called reflection and uh, to to take to tell the people this story what what happened to me like an artist and how the people really uh, really uh, changed my life uh, this is uh, this is my painting Joyce this is the joy uh, the painting I uh, uh, when the people choice and uh, Students' uh, choice in Kingston Prize Award. Uh, this is in the process, and uh, this is my photo with uh, Joyce after uh, I finish uh, her uh, portrait. Uh, she is amazing. Uh, why Joyce? Why I did this portrait for this woman? This is woman. She is eighty-five years old, and she was the first uh, person visited uh, us. Uh, and the next morning, uh, next morning when we arrived, it. and she came. Uh, she she walk uh, like in heavy way. Eight years old, eighty five years old actually, and uh, she start over. Uh, uh, I can drive you if you want to go to Brasilia. This is the the amazing thing. I for for me, I choked in that time. How could this woman in this age? come to, to, to us, she didn't, didn't know us. She was one of the volunteers came to support us. And really um, through, uh, through the time uh, with her, uh, I like it, uh, to record this experience like an artist uh, by creating this uh, portrait for her. And I put the, the, this tin foil uh, crown on her head because uh, she, she was reflect to us the, the history of Canada through her photos, because she is a, a photographer and she has around 70,000 photo. And just imagine 70,000 photo, any photo you ask her about it, she could tell you the story about it. And she could talk hours about this photo. And we, we had an amazing time with her. And um, this is my... Uh, it was my way to to uh, to record this experience with this person, the Canadian. The, this is the Canadian woman. She came came to the refugee uh, apartment to show them her uh, love, her support, and she was uh, she liked to uh, she liked natural and she show show us many places in the area. And she was with me in, in many times, like my first drive test, my, my first everything, you know. So uh, this is my collection. After that, I start to make uh, many portraits to many local people around me to, to record this uh, uh, experience with, with them through my art uh, and to tell people how is amazing, how is amazing, uh, effect you could do to to anyone who needs help. Sometimes your help could be answered to small question. Sometimes because the regime we are we are you know we, we came with different different background, different culture, different everything. But Canada for us it's we we start from stretch here because I remember the first day we went to the grocery we just took how we could be how we could, <laughs> we don't know anything, you know, we just, uh, yeah, the many kind of vegetables, it was new for us. Everything is new for the newcomer or the refugee. And the support uh, or the people around us, they, they make our life easier and easier and easier. And uh, this is, uh, as I mentioned, this is uh, the collection, the uh, reflections. This is uh, this is my friend uh, Ted. Uh, Ted. Uh, Ted had a special uh, story. He he is uh, he came to Canada like a, a refugee before uh, I think seventy years ago, and he was uh, in same age of my son when he came to Canada. Uh, he was uh, eight months, and my son he was eight months. And I start just thinking after seventy years. My son, he will have 
this big family and we, he will be Canadian. And this man, he makes some magic to my mind, just he make me go to the future for many years in the future. And I just start thinking how the life it start uh, 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 built. Uh, I start build my experience about life through this friends, you know. Uh, I'm I'm one. I as I mentioned, I one uh, I am one of the uh, limited uh, lucky refugee to be here in Canada, and I am one of the limited uh, uh, lucky people to to be to land in uh, uh, town like Gananagwe. Uh, actually, Gananagwe is similar of my town in Syria because. Uh, I, I grew up in a small town in the mountains in, in uh, South uh, Syria. And uh, I, I had the same feeling because I just I walk in the streets, people start know me and start welcoming me everywhere. People will come to Canada, will come to Canada. And this is was warm my our heart, me and my family. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, this is some of the painting, another uh, another uh, subjects. Yeah. And uh, this is uh, Maya, my wife. She is, uh, she is my, my hero, actually. She is my uh, everything. <laughs> yeah. And I did this portrait for her in, in the same collection. And uh, this is Ted, the same person I was talking about him. This is a portrait uh, I gave to him, uh, kind of uh, to make uh, memories. I like to make memories with, with friends. He's an uh, amazing person. He's an artist too. He, he, do, he did, uh, he sculpt. Uh, Woods, yeah, and then the first uh, week in, in Canada, he uh, he and Ron, his brother, both of them, uh, they are uh, all of them actually, they are my family. And uh, we went together to the forest and we bring some wood, we start sculpt together. I had amazing, amazing time with them and uh, amazing, uh, amazing uh, memories. Uh, after, after. Uh, after the uh, the pandemic start actually in uh, 2000, 2000, 2000, 2020, uh, I start the another project. Uh, it's called the Compass of Survivor, and uh, the Compass of Survivor. Uh, project uh, I inspired it from the front lines workers because after the first lockdown, all of us we uh, maybe we share the same feeling. I had that feeling that the life is it's locked, everything is stopped in the in the life, and as a, as a, a refugee, and I I had. I had knowledge and about the how how I I uh, I can uh, feel better if I do something uh, in in the time that you you cannot do anything. So I find uh, myself uh, in that time. Uh, have the same same feeling for, for like uh, most people. You feel like uh, you are sad or you are you cannot do anything. What happened? We cannot go, go outside. We just sit at home, watch TV, and that and that time I find myself thinking uh, there is no there is some people they facing the the danger and they they have very hard uh, time through their uh, uh, work. Uh, 
the nurses and uh, doctors in the hospitals, they face uh, this uh, pandemic and they, uh, they don't have time to, to see their kids maybe. They, they have the most difficult time in that time. And I try to, uh, I try to, uh, I create this project just to try to say, we think about you guys and we, we, uh, we feel about your uh, uh, feeling and we appreciate your, uh, your uh, effort and the, all the amazing uh, uh, hard work and amazing, amazing. They give us everything. We, our lives start to uh, run through their uh, introductions because everything in that time um, was different. So I, uh, I tried to, uh, to record that, uh, that uh, moment uh, through uh, some painting because actually in that time, the most uh, thing uh, uh, Effect, um, affect, um, affected, uh, uh, infect me or uh, give me that feeling. Uh, the, the the marks uh, come through the the long time because they wearing the mask. So their faces, as you see in the photos, inspired me to 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 uh, to uh, record these phases uh, because they are uh, they 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 did uh, they did our history you know this is uh, actually all of us i feel uh, the, the 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 life or the world uh, before uh, the corona it's not same after corona the corona it's a new beginning for a new life uh, our life changed after corona and they are uh, they are the hero of this time. So I created this project, it's called uh, Combas of Survivor because they are our Combas in this life. And uh, I created this, this project uh, to make, uh, uh, I, I, I create many uh, portraits to collect together to make a uh, uh, big painting to, uh, to, uh, to show uh, the, my idea how to tell uh, this story through this uh, project. Yeah, I will stop uh, share my, uh, my screen uh, by now. And uh, if anyone he have any question, I will be more than happy to answer you. Yeah, so thank you so much, Rissam, for sharing your, your breathtaking photos and just beautiful stories that accompanied them that was was so touching and thank you so much for doing that. Uh, like Kusam said, we'll now move into a question and answer session. Um, if you'd like to share your uh, question publicly, uh, you can just put it in the chat or raise your hand. If you'd like it to be anonymous, uh, please just send it to either um, Alex or myself and we'll read it out on your behalf. So just while we give people a moment to think of a question, um, you were you mentioned uh, living in the mountains in a small town. Are yeah. there any aspects of the nature that are kind of similar in Canada to the nature in Syria? Yeah, it's mm, no, it's different no. actually. Yeah, because um, the land there, it's uh, we don't have the same temperature, or it's not cold like here. So we have more uh, land, it's, we grow fruit like uh, apple and grapes. We are famous by uh, apple and grapes like uh, product in our, in our area. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's have a lot of black stone. It's basalt, if you know the basalt stones. Yeah, and it's very historic uh, area actually. For example, my uh, grandfather house, it's, uh, it's old. It's around, uh, I think, uh, 13, 1300 years old. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, it's yeah, it's really historic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and uh, it's very. Uh, we have uh, 
one of the most old church in the world, in, in our uh, hometown. Yeah, and it's, uh, it's lovely town, small town, the people there, it's very simple people, very lovely. Uh, just you walk around, you are uh, guest. All the people, they like to invite you for coffee or for dinner or anything, you know. Yeah. No, oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Um, so we do have a question here. It says, who slash what inspired you to become an artist? <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, I, I, I have no decision to be an artist because uh, from my first uh, uh, awareness, I, 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 I just remember, I just make some drawing and uh, I, I still remember my mom, she was uh, used uh, uh, pencil and paper to make me quiet. Okay, okay, take this and <laughs> you will be okay. Yeah, so, yeah, but for sure after I grow up and I start uh, uh, interested more in art, I start uh, look at the art uh, history. And in that uh, days, I remember uh, I like uh, the, the classic art because uh, my my talent is uh, like to make something uh, realistic kind of practice, my practice. Yeah, so I like uh, like um, many artists. Yeah, like uh, Michael Angelo, for example, because I, I do sculpt also also and Leonardo da Vinci and many of the yeah. Many of artists. Okay, we have, um, thank you, another question here. Uh, how was, oh, sorry, there's a couple, just a moment. How was your trip from Syria to Canada? Did you come to Gananoque directly or were there stopovers? From Syria to Canada? I, I have, <laughs> yeah, from Syria to Canada, actually, I, uh, I left Syria in 2013, and I I landed in Canada 2018. It's five years, uh, so I I had two stations. I called it stations because this is was my feeling about uh, the countries before Canada, like Jordan and Turkey. I lived in uh, Jordan around eight months, and uh, in Turkey around uh, uh, four months, and. Uh, couple, uh, uh, sorry, four years and a couple months maybe, or more, yeah. Uh, another one here. You have a number of paintings that have a kind of tin foil covering a mouth as a crown on a head or as a cap on the portrait of your wife. Um, can you talk about why you take this approach and what does it mean? Uh, the, the tin foil actually, I, uh, I use the tin foil in my art because the tin foil uh, have uh, many service and in the same case give you a reflection, but it's not clear, clear reflection. It's not like mirror, you cannot see clear photo. So this is our life because you have reflection from many ways and you cannot see it like it's exactly, it's one image. No, it's, it's different, you know? And I use the, this uh, the tin foil and my uh, concept to 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 match the idea between the the reflect reflection of come from the people around us and uh, uh, and the the uh, tin foil like materials. Thank you. Um, okay, we have another one here. Uh, this one's to everyone, so you can all read it, but it says, thank you for sharing your story. Are you currently working on another project? Yeah, actually, uh, in these days, after I uh, uh, spent my third year here in Canada, in Canada, you, my mind starts uh, think in different way. Because uh, before I just was focused about Syria and the situation in Syria. And these days, actually, I start think um, in different ways. So I have a project now have related uh, with the global warming, because now the, the global warming is the biggest problem. And not just for us, 
in this uh, period of time, but this is for our uh, future and our kids' future, you know? So uh, now I, uh, I'm preparing a new project to have related with, uh, with global warming. And actually I, uh, I will focus about the, the uh, plastic in the, for example, in the lip of Ontario, I will start from, from local areas because uh, my project uh, need a lot of plastic to create uh, the art pieces. Uh, and this is the concept to, to, to use the garbage to make art, uh, to, 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 to tell the, the, how we could uh, use the art uh, to keep our planet and uh, to build uh, new knowledge and uh, uh, a new awareness uh, about the danger of this uh, uh, global warming around uh, uh, us and uh, yeah. I think. Well, thank you. I think we'll all be looking forward to seeing yeah. uh, your next project. So um, I don't see any other questions. So once again, thank you so much. You said you were lucky. I feel like we're so lucky to, to have you here. Thanks a lot. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm so, thanks for having me. And I'm uh, so, so happy and uh, so glad to be with you today and to have this opportunity uh, to, uh, to share with you my story. And uh, thank you with a big thanks and many thanks to, to Ghana to Way in general and uh, to uh, the Gananagwe Settlement uh, Revigi the group and because they really they uh, change our destiny and uh, sure Sam and Maggie and many friends uh, they they really uh, make uh, something I will never uh, forget it you know yeah thanks a lot thank you and you can see some more messages of thanks in the chat um, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. So everyone, we will be moving just to do a quick kind of wellness break, a 10 minute ish break. Uh, so if you can come back for 8 p.m. Uh, so get up, stretch your legs, grab a drink or a snack if you need to. And then when we come back, uh, we're going to be doing a bit of an art exercise together. So uh, we'll we'll just take a break now and we'll see you in about 10 minutes.